Okay, guys, so here's the car. Yo, guys, so this is just a quick random video. So, this morning, I saw on someone's status that they posted that a vehicle was stolen in Bridgetown. Um, and they actually have footage of the guy busy stealing the car. So, I'll just insert that footage right here. Anyway, someone messaged me and sent me pictures of the car and it's actually not too far from where I live. They saw the car about 30 minutes ago. So I'm actually on my way to drive to the car and see if the car is still there. And I also phoned a few of my friends that are policemen. Um, so they will also be assisting us. The guy that saw the car did leave. He mentioned that the plates were changed. And then another friend of mine also um, that deals with uh, parts also notified me that the guy a guy came to come look for ignition um, and i assume that is how they basically stole the car um, obviously damaging the ignition and he's now currently looking for a different ignition so the car can obviously drive uh, but anyway i'm currently on my way right now i'm also speaking to the owner of the car um, he's obviously not from here so i'm gonna see if i can maybe just see if i can find the car in the area as well if the car did leave uh, but yeah Wish us luck. Okay guys, so I'm actually approaching where the car did stand. It stood over here somewhere. Obviously it looks like the car is not here anymore. A wee bra, he was a a what um a what on near No God please no no near what on that what I'll get steal it. I'll let the car get stand get steal but I'll let the car now here see. No, I see not just that. I see the car was just still just that in Bridgetown. My brother is now here with the car. He's now here stopped. Okay, guys. So here's the car. The owner said that this is also the damage over here. Light, light sticker. And apparently the plates are changed as well. Doesn't look like the ignition is damaged. So how long are you going to get here? And you know what the car is going to get here? What? Nice my car is a brave and nice car. So you can see here the plate was easily just fit fitted on here. Oh. So, looking at the car guys, it looks like it's abandoned, um, the guy didn't even end up stealing the wheels or anything, spoke to the owner now, he's about 10 minutes away, um, not really sure why the car is standing here, the car guards did mention that the car was here since this morning already, um, but yeah, um, we're basically just waiting, we actually see if it's open. It's not open but yeah we're waiting for the owner to come right now and then he'll probably take it further from here there is a police car over there but i don't think they want to assist us but yeah i'll update you guys soon a few moments later yeah he was knocked the car apparently when he just came out something very big we need the owner just was uh, on his way to work yeah. and then he was now obviously saw the brat in there anyway. Yeah, yeah bro? Good. Alright. What is the video? Um, let me see. There's a video of this car being stolen last night or whenever. So someone told me like 50 or half an hour ago. Yeah, the car is here. So I drove to here and I found the owner obviously. But only is here? Yeah, he's here. Lazy with the navy switch on. I think it's a yeah, that's the girlfriend your boyfriend was a parent, like something like that. He's that's the one, the owner. Yeah, yeah. I just bought, oh, he was, now that they were late late customs to do a few, few mods, that's why I have the stickers on the car. Yeah. So late late customs actually helped us out because that's uh, how we determined it was that car. Bro, I don't even want to tell you what happened to my car. The car was not stolen. What? Nonsense. And then I recovered it. 
crazy. When I got it back, no bonnet, no radiator, no wheels. my wheels was off. Wheels, radiator, lights, and they, and, they, and they took my bumper because of my spotlights. Because only I know how to put it on and I, only I know how to remove it. So the What's pulling that? through. So who gave me this? She, did, she gave me a reward. Okay. Okay, shot through. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to the channel. <laughs> is that light is salty there with Wong? <laughs> Going for the drive. Quick, but I didn't expect this. Okay, guys, I just left the crime scene after the owner and the police um, eventually came. Funny thing is, actually, um, the guy that actually found the car initially that messaged me, me, him, and another guy were standing around the car, and um, I think the owner's family members rocked up. But they were looking at us weird and they actually told someone hey there's the, um, there's the, the culprits whatever and they were like very secretive so i obviously addressed them and told them like yo we were actually the ones that found it but yeah they assumed that we were actually the people that stole the car but yeah i'm glad the owner actually got this car um, another person i'd actually like to thank uh, for this is be late late customs actually because um the guy that saw the car initially first saw that there was late late custom stickers on and that's how he actually knew it's that car um the plates were obviously changed um the owner uh, was not too long ago at late late customs uh, doing some work by him i think some cooling um, repairs or something but anyway um, that is explains why he has the stickers on the car um, as well as he recently just bought the car i think a week or two ago he did fit the system um, the tape was already in um, that's obviously stolen but he didn't check in the boot if the speakers were stolen um, i also spoke to the owner he said that he was just about to wake up for work and in the video you can actually see the guy um, running back to the car and climbing into the car and he actually knocks the car um, there as well because he was obviously in a hurry because the owner was coming out um, to stop him um, but overall what i think has happened here is obviously because everyone posted the video of him stealing the car uh, once again thanks to everyone that has posted it um, he obviously got nervous and backed out and parked the car here which is also kind of silly because i mean there's cameras around they could have parked it somewhere else where there was no cameras so hopefully they are going to investigate the cameras and maybe find um, the culprit but yeah, overall, that's basically what happened um, at the time of this video. I'll maybe give you guys an update what happened after that. Did they find him or whatever? Because this video will most likely come out months from the actual date. Uh, but yeah, thanks all the Honda guys and everyone that actually posted the car. Because of that, luckily, um, he was obviously able to um, retrieve his car. Um, also a cool thing you mentioned is that he had lock nuts on because I mean VTEC wheels are probably um, the most valuable thing on that car as well that um, they were chasing. There was also another story going around about people actually um, already trying to sell parts um, on the car like there's someone that's in the, in the Honda groups or something to that effect. Um, that was already trying to part out the car knowingly that the car was uh, available uh, for parts etc uh, it's kind of crazy just to think about it like how people could have maybe targeted this car for example etc the main reason why i actually just came out is because i'm pretty much close by 
and the person that saw the car thought that he would message me um, because obviously we kind of in the same area and I obviously um, posted the car being stolen and maybe I could have assist with finding the owner or whatever the case may be um, but yeah I'm gonna end it off here um, like I said I will try to get an update as to what has happened after that um, but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video please do like and subscribe